Man, that was a wacky last episode. Can I teleport out here? Okay, thank god. Alright. So now we got a new person on the ship. Watch. Watch this. That, uh, God, what's her face? I just forgot that woman's name that fast. Medissa. She's gonna be Kamala's replacement mother. I can feel it. Something's preventing you from using. Okay, the horror story stuff is gonna happen. Okay, I guess I gotta go all the way back. Wait, where the hell the hell are these at? Oh, okay. All the way back to hell of these I go. Hey, Eleanor. I was wondering, do you think I hurt Medissa saying that stuff to her back there? I suppose you might have. But I was thinking the exact same things you were. Losing a mother. It's always a tragedy. I'm glad you stepped in and stopped her. You did good, kid. Thanks. That Eleanor, I swear, she feels way more responsibility for everything than she needs to. You think we need to worry? What if she pushes too far and erupts with malevolence? Malevolence is born out of many things. A prideful ego, the self-righteousness that turns a blind eye to one's inner contradictions. Eleanor is different. She's mindful of her ego and strives to confront her inconsistencies of character. She has a purity of heart that won't be tainted by the emotions that create malevolence. No other quality is as essential for an exorcist. So she's probably okay? For now, at least. But human hearts can be fickle things. Who knows what the future holds? Eh, I doubt you got anything to worry about. For most exorcists, purity is a construct of the Abbey's teachings. But Eleanor, she's the real deal. <laughs> she's not your average exorcist, I'll give you that. Purity is handy for any exorcist. But more than that, it's a rare and precious temperament for living. Everybody's got an ego and certain internal contradictions to some degree. Facing one's own ugliness in an honest manner is never easy. That is to true. be a normal human that is, is true. to live carrying malevolence. It's just how much you let it control you that varies. That is true. I guess malevolence might just be a fact of life, huh? But Artorius can't accept that. That is true. Okay, now I can go back to Eloise. see anything out of the ordinary. Give it a minute. Let's slip through town and head for Titania before that changes. Watch we can find Maybach. So this is your secret hideout. Once I get free, he won't stand a chance. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You all had better sleep with one eye open. Look how worried I am. <laughs> Welcome back! That's Kamoana. <sighs> She's the same age as Diana. Did the Abbey really turn someone so young into a Therian? Mm hmm. They jerks. Oh, she fell down. She better not start crying. I swope the guy. She better not start. You better not. Don't you dare. Oh my god, no. Oh, for the love of God, dude. Eleanor! Eleanor, you booed. What the frick? Please, would you be able to talk to her? Don't be a boob. Is this a trick? Yes. Kamoana may be a Therian, but deep down, you could have let her get close enough to her and this is her mother. I can't do anything to console her, no matter what I try. But if it were you, an actual mother, but then you could let her at least get close enough to the girl and. You okay? Look at two Therian you mother can call and daughter. Medissa, all right. Do I scare you, honey? A little, but not as much.
touch his mouth and die. Oh, <laughs> but don't you think I'm scary? I had a bad dream earlier. My mommy said I looked scary and that she, she didn't want me anymore. Oh. Wholesome mother daughter she thought my time. Your mother would never think that about her daughter. But how do you know? That's precious and wholesome. Because I'm I'm a mother too. Was a mother. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's not funny. Mothers always love their children, no matter what. No matter if we die. No matter how the world changes. There's nobody who loves you more in the world than... than... It's okay. You don't have to cry. So is everything happy now? I hope Kamawana and Medissa won't have to feel so lonely anymore. Yeah. Trying to stop the waterworks gets old fast. Oh, yes. Listen, if it's not too personal, was your mother... Oh yeah, let's learn about Vela's mom. She's dead. Oh. I lost her when I was eating. Oh yeah, we already know that. I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. It just means we've got things in common. So no feeling sad and alone, okay? Oh no, I'm fine. I don't feel lonely or anything. I swear. What's gotten into you? You're so strange sometimes. No, I'm not. Eleanor, I'll have you watch over Kamawana and Medissa. Yes, of course. I'd be honored. Thank you. Are exorcists supposed to be so polite to a grand poobah of calamity or whatever? J sure Why not? Besides, the Demon Lord ought to not trouble herself over such trivialities. Mm. Velvet, Grimoire's calling for you. She says to bring Lafayette and meet her at the observation tower. Got it. We better get going then. Wait, you mean freaking Grimoire's been with us the whole time? I thought she was just still there, like back on our island. I didn't know she was with us. Uh, okay, so. Let's go to. Oh, this part again? Damn, how did I do it last time? Uh, I remember. Uh. God, freaking damn it. Okay, first floor. Christ, where else will it go again? <laughs> is my brain going full of retard right now? What the hell am I supposed to be doing? Ugh. I hate walking to this place. You figured the amount of times I come here, I would know the layout. Hey, oh. Do you all have mothers? Hmm? Where'd that question come from? Well, after hearing that Velvet, Kamawana, and Eleanor all lost their parents, I just got know this. curious. My mother was a strict, frightening woman, but she died a long time ago. I see. I have no parents either. But the wicked witch who took me in said I was born from a peach that floated down the river. Coming from you, I'd almost believe that. A and you, I well, Moloch don't have parents. We Malakim are formed from untainted mana. Sometimes humans are reborn as Malachi, but they retain no memory of their previous lives. In other words, we don't have blood relations like humans do. I see. By the time I was aware of anything around me, I was already tethered and being called number two. I suppose having no mother means I don't have any memories before that. I told Medissa that losing a mother is painful, but I can't know how painful it is. Go easy on him, Eisen. He's just a kid. I'm just telling it like it is. But listen to me, Lafayette. said. You can share deep connections with other people. That's true. Even if you don't have a biological family. That's true. Malakim, too, can form precious bonds. True friendships. Even family. You can make family. That's right. Your words wouldn't have stopped Medissa if they weren't true in your heart. You really think so? I'm sure of it. It's far better than being a witch born from a peach. Nonsense! 
there's no nobler way to be born. <coughs> I have an everlasting friendship with a dog, a monkey, a pheasant, and Bienfu. I hope he's right. <laughs> You're killing me with holes in this game. Alright, considering the cutscene play, that must be going in the right direction. Hopefully. I am not in the mood to be wandering around like crazy. Wait a minute, wait, 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 before I go down there, hold on. Watch, I went the wrong way anyway. Oh, never mind. Why just make me walk like all this way? Make a ride the forward, but I would rather have velvet like wear roller skates and do this. God damn it! You can't control it here. Look at this. It's too compact. Ugh. This is jank, man. I can't do it. Patience with this least labyrinths. You figured the amount of times I've been in here, I would figure it out by now. Nope. It's confusing. Ugh. Looks like it was done this way on purpose. Sweet baby Jesus. Ooh. This board is so lame, dude. It was cool. It's cool if you're not in like in somewhere else. can have familial ties, but what makes you and your sister siblings if you're not related by blood? Well, a very long time ago, I was born into this world from an earth pulse point up on a sacred mountain. I remained in that place for a long while, and then one day, she was born from the very same earth pulse point. Before we knew it, we had wound up living together under the same roof. Are two Malakim always siblings if they come from the same Earth Pulse point? No. Other Malakim were born there, but I never felt like they were my family. But something, and I don't know what, was different with her. If she was sad, I'd feel sad. And if I was happy, she'd be happy too. She can be abrasive, but when she smiles, it's like nothing else. I swore to myself that whatever happened, I would protect her. I made a pendant from a stone on that sacred mountain and gave it to her as a lucky charm. Of course, she just wears it as a necklace. And your pendant? Did she give that to you? She had the same idea I had. She made the pendant herself and gave it to me as a good luck charm. Without either of us having mentioned a word of it beforehand, we each gave each other pendants in the same shape on the very same day. That's when I really knew that what I had felt all along was true. We were brother and sister. Is that her in the picture? Yeah. It's a self-portrait she drew for me on the day I left home. 
Did you draw her a picture of yourself? No. I don't exactly have an artistic side. Well, I'm sure that if you looked inside her pendant, you'd find a portrait of the person who matters most to her. I hope so. Yeah, then it would be nice if it was you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, that's dirty, Modulo. That's dirty. There was a second counting song. I've already transcribed it. Would you read it aloud for us, child? Okay. Um, when the eight malevolences overflow, in the culmination of mankind's despair, Enominat will bring an end to all peoples and restore them to time immemorial. Four Empyreans shall wield a wrathful sword and cleave the great devourer two asunder to sleep beneath the earth as scarlet moonlight illuminates the evil the nameless empyrean hath one heart the nameless empyrean hath one body oh yet more delightful material to keep us awake at night if i'm understanding this right it's discussing the specific nature of Enominat. that's what i believe yes when the eight malevolences overflow in the culmination of mankind's despair Inominat will bring an end to all peoples. So, when the world is at peak malevolence, Inominat will use that power to bring an end to all. Is that it? He's going to wipe out all of humanity? Is that what the Abbey is after? Is that why they've been trying to bring back Inominat? Damn. No. Artorius is not that kind of man. Hmm? Huh? His two primary ideals are the many over one and the restoration of order through will and reason. He sacrificed Lothi to protect this world, not to eradicate it. You mean that's who he is as far as you know, yeah? People change, Velvet. Perhaps the Shepherd gave up hope. Maybe he lost faith in mankind. Fools prone to sin, endlessly generating malevolence. He's not like that. If that's all true, then what point was there in Lothi's death? Is there anything else in that book? Yes, and no. This copy itself is incomplete. There ought to be further pages, but they're missing. For now, I've done all I can. <sighs> there must be an original somewhere, right? Without it, I doubt the Abbey would be plotting Enominat's revival. We can be sure they have complete understanding of their Empyrean's nature. But this was the only copy in the Royal Villa. If the original is out there, who knows where it could be? <sighs> it's getting pretty late. Why don't we call it a day? Yeah, let's get some rest. Yeah, let's get some sleep each time. Okay. Oh, crap. Crew's getting bigger. Oh, thanks, Eleanor. I appreciate it. <laughs> Having some girl trouble, my little Malik. <laughs> I'm just glad Pamelana and Medusa. How fast she looked at him. <laughs> yeah. God damn, you look. Still what? have a long way to go, but it's 
such a relief to see them smile. Her freaking face. We've got bigger things to worry about. Hurry up and locate the next Earth Pulse point. Whoa, okay. Damn. All right, okay. Damn, Velvet. Must you always be so blunt, Velvet? I must, in fact. We're up against the Abbey here, and sooner or later they'll find this place. That's true, but still. Do we go find another hideout? No, we'll keep on the offensive. We'll capture the remaining Therians before the Abbey finds us. As a swordsman, I can respect that mindset. I'm not so sure we could hold this place anyway. We've got no obligation to. I found another Earth Pulse point. It's in the eastern part of East Gand, I think. But that's... Alright. We're headed for East Gand. Then our first stop should be Port Taliesin. Taliesin.